Yo, what's up? It's your boy Free Soul, man. We chilling here. Young Avenue Sounds. We're doing like three songs. All right, well, this is actually the continuation of a previous session where we came up with about three songs um, with Jean Marie, who's downstairs in the uh, studio, Jean Marie Horvat. I want to be the guy behind the scene. I want to be the muse for everybody. So when I first started out, um, T Tony Maserati was one of my mentors, took me in underneath his wing. I think about a month later, I met Teddy Riley. I didn't know who he was. I knew of his work. I didn't know this guy I'm jamming with. I'm like shredding on the guitar and he's playing the Hammond. He took a liking to me. I was, an, I was a runner and he listened to like an old mix that, you know, like a rough mix I was doing. He said, I want that. Seven months later, I'm working with him on a Michael Jackson record. It was dangerous. That was my first professional credit. Not bad. <laughs> I'm a lucky son of a bitch. That's what it is. <laughs> that guy there to me is like a, a guardian angel that, that that was sent here for us. John Marie is a is a is a, a true artist. John Marie is off the chain, man. He's off the chain. He's a blessing for us, bro. I think he's the uh, the missing link that we've been you know praying for. I think it's all fate, you know. I think he's that guy, that bridge for us. All four of those guys, or five, I should say, being Christian, Christian being the, the man alive, uh, all four of those guys bring a lot to the table. And I think I said it yesterday, Primo being like the jazzy guy. I am the musical director. Um, I do a majority of the music. The guitarist and I, you know, we kind of trade off, but you know, we all contribute considerably to this to this project. Like Primo's a jazz, you know, freaking choir dude, and I'm a metalhead. Teddy being, you know, Teddy being, you know, the you know the drummer he is. I mean, he is church drummer. I mean, you could tell church all over the place. But the son of a gun can play. I mean, he could play rock. He could play anything. Um, free. Like I said, he's just like, I, I call him a born again idiot because he's just, he's an idiot savant. I mean, he's, he could take you here, he could take you there. I mean, he's a smooth, smooth style pimp. You know, me personally, I call myself free soul because I didn't, be, I don't belong to any religion. I believe I take a little piece of truth from everything that I learned and I do spend a lot of time studying and researching. And then the same thing with my music. We, we play with hip hop, we play with jazz, we, we pull out everything that we like, and then we make it ours. Free writes all the lyrics, as far as that goes. As far as the music goes, um, Just Call It Music, I know Primo came up with that beat. Just Call It Music actually started about two months ago. Um, Primo had a track he made, it was stupid, and um, we recorded half of it at his house. So when we sent, this is the reason how just Call It Music is how it all happened, because we sent that to John, to Ken and John and them, and John freaked out when he heard it. And when he heard it, he was like, yo, I want to work with, on that song, you know what I mean? So when he came down here and we started on that, what he's put to it was, he just took it to another level, and then he brought more out of everybody else. Yesterday, uh, I introduced, uh, I'm a tone catcher, man. I, I, like, I like to get tones. So yesterday, I introduced uh, Primo to a, an old school, old school vibe, old school feel when we pull out the roads and we didn't even use the, the box, you know, we didn't use the amp. We used it straightly out, start using, you know, pedals and, and you know, I was very fortunate to work with a lot of old school cats like Wawa Watson, Freddie Washington, you know, El DeBarge and I learned a lot like how records were made back in the day and asked a lot of questions. I said, well shit, today's a great point to do it and it's not been done. So you have to go to the past to get into the future. It's all the same, I've seen it before It's hard to convince, when you know that there's more And I can't explain, these issues we trust And I'm scared to love, it could come between us Don't make a fuss, don't make a fuss Don't make a fuss, don't make a Well, how does it feel? John came in and he uh, 
had a, the beginning of a track. And as soon as I heard it, I heard, you know, to be black in America. To be black in I mean, that's like the first thing that hit me. And then I guess because there's so much that was been on my, that's been on my mind recently that that just kind of popped up. And when that hit me, I was like, you know, I just automatically started writing. And then everybody else just kind of fell in line. Everyone felt it. We were all on the same page. Everyone started writing. Like I said, it was, it was real bare. It didn't have anything in it. You know, it's, Free Soul is a, is a band. So, you know, I mean, it's like we're adding, Teddy's adding drums, Elliot's adding guitar. You know, no matter who comes up with a beat, you know, they're adding their own instruments to it. Three songs to me um, are definitely free soul. Um, it's, um, you couldn't ask for anything more because um, it's allowing us time to be who we are. And that's why I said these three songs were kind of important because it's going to kind of dictate which direction we go in. Are you ready for the fan? This has been an unbreakable production.